on August the 9th, 1788, Adoniram Judson was born. Judson enrolled in the college which is now known as Brown University at age 16. He also graduated as valedictorian at age 19. While there he befriended Jacob Ames, who was a deist. Judson adopted the deist philosophy which rejects miraculous events but believes there is a God. It was the death of Ames that shocked Judson back into the Christian faith. Judson joined a group of students known as the Brethren who were interested in missionary work. He went to London, but his ship was captured by pirates and ended up in France. He crossed the Channel to England and visited the missionary seminary before returning to New York. He was commissioned to do missionary work and was married. The couple arrived in India, but the local authorities and the English did not want them to evangelize Hindus and they were thrown out of the country. Judson ended up in Burma. There had been a few missionaries before him, but none had been there for very long. It took Judson three years to learn Burmese. It was a year after that when he made his first public speech. Soon after, he made his first convert, but the work was slow and any convert faced the possibility of the death penalty for converting. Judson wrote a book about Burmese grammar and translated the Gospel of Matthew into Burmese. A printing press aided him and after 10 years his congregation numbered 18. Britain got into a war with Burma and since he spoke English he was not trusted and accused of being a spy. Judson was imprisoned for almost two years in dreadful conditions. Soon after his release, his wife died. Judson fell into a depression over the death of his wife, but after the British War there was a change in the limitations that had been put on the missionaries. Judson and fellow missionaries contacted the Karen, people who were scattered throughout the jungles of Burma. They were much more receptive to the gospel and once converted willing to help spread it. Judson eventually got over the passing of his wife and remarried. He finished translating the Bible into Burmese. His wife died going back to America and Judson married yet again. His legacy still continues to this day as there are still large numbers of Christians in the region. Crosslink is publishing one of my books, Would You Do What They Did? Christian Leaders from Our Past. It should be coming out in October of this year. The book is going to have uh, biographies of Francis of Assisi, John Wesley, Martin Luther, and Thomas Beckett, written in creative nonfiction style, which is where you take uh, nonfiction events and write them as if they're fiction with the details as if they were fiction. So uh, I think you should enjoy that. I'm going to be coming out with a few videos uh, for some of my things that got cut and some samples from the book as well. I'm going to be coming out with Dawn on Lake Tiberius. should be coming out soon. And so please check that out. Uh, if you also want to get some more information about the book, uh, I should be updating that as it's coming along. It's williamdeanhamilton.net. Thank you very much.